I can say I'm sure there are a lot of other beautiful products from the brand, but this made my life. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I have part two of, I don't know how many <laughs> there are gonna be, but this is part two of my birthday haul. This is most of the stuff that I told you guys was coming in, but there's already some more stuff that I'm waiting for and a few things that I snuck in. So we're not gonna be judgmental. We're just gonna share and enjoy the video. So if you're new, I would love to invite you to join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I upload videos twice a week and it's mostly beauty content with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. So if you guys wanna see the stuff I hinted about in my last haul, as well as the new goodies I picked up, then stay tuned and keep on watching. I'm going to try to go in order of like where I pick these items up from, but it might be a little scattered because it's pretty much just in this box. So some of the products I actually have on my face right now, so I can kind of tell you my first impressions of them. I don't normally do that. I normally show you guys first and then I do a first impressions later, but I wanted to try it this way. Just to see, honestly, I don't know if I like doing it this way or not, but y'all give me some feedback. Let me know what you think. The first thing on my face is this Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. This is in the shade Neutral Pecan, Pecan, however you say it, I say Pecan, um, shade 80. And this is what it looks like. This did not come in a box, but I do have this on my face right now. I think the shade match is good. It is definitely a neutral. I love that it comes with a pump, even though it's this little cheap plastic pump. This is not an expensive foundation. It does say that it's long wearing and it says that it's hydrating medium to full coverage. It says comfortable skin feeling. I can tell you right now, it doesn't feel like my face is set at all. Like my face still feels a little wet like i don't know normally when i put foundation on it dries down and i don't really feel anything on my face i feel this it just my face still feels wet i don't feel like i don't have anything to do yeah I do. let me see yeah there's some transfer on this so this is not if you're looking i mean it may be long wear but the way that it's not drying down, definitely not transfer resistant and all that good stuff. It doesn't say that it is. So I don't know. I like how this looks. I like how my face looks. The coverage is really good. I'm just not used to feeling like my face isn't set. I like the color. I like how it looks. I feel like the coverage is really good and it's inexpensive. I'm going to do a wear test with this later, but initial impression, I like it. All right, I had to take a little break because my agent just called and we were discussing what we are going to sell my house for. So I had a little freak out because my silly self put my feet on the table talking, relaxing, chilling, and my whole box fell over. I bought shit because I thought my palettes broke. But we're all right. I checked everything. So we are going to keep going. The next thing that I picked up from Ulta, I picked up this LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment. This is in the blue shade. I hope this works because one of my subscribers commented on one of my other videos. Y'all know how I struggle with matching my foundation. And she told me that if I use a blue, it'll help with foundations that are too red. So hopefully this works because as y'all know, I have a lot of foundations that are not a good shade match for me. If this can help to get them be the right shade, then I won't have to worry about mixing them although i'm still mixing something i don't know i just wanted to give this a try so we'll see if it works the next thing i picked up from ulta is this cover girl lid lockup and it's an eyeshadow primer i did use this today as well so here's the box that it came in but this is what it looks like and it's just a white tube this says it's a universal shade when you open it this is what it looks like it's like a white it does not cover as much as some of the other ones that I use. However, when this dries down, it feels sticky. And I set it lightly with a little bit of powder 
And then I had no issues with my eyeshadow blending at all. When I rub it in, it just kind of looks almost like a sheen. So it doesn't give the same coverage as if you were trying to completely cancel everything out. But I mean, I used it today and I think my eyeshadow went on so well. It stuck. The pigment was there. I'm going to try it with a drugstore eyeshadow palette and see if it's the same. But this was a good buy. Not mad about it at all. I also decided to pick up um, another eyelash glue. Now y'all know I love, oh, my, is it Eyelore or Kiss? I can't think of it right now, but my white one that's latex free. I use that one most of the time. Today I went back to an old school favorite. I'm using the Duo Black Lash Glue. I tried that damn Kiss pen, pen liner, felt liner for my birthday. Put my lashes on. By the time I got to the restaurant, corners were sticking up. I had it in my purse. Tried to stick them back down, still sticking up. So I ended up with no lashes for dinner and the next day when we went out for brunch. So kind of disappointed about that. This is supposed to be a premium strip lash adhesive. And it says super strong hold, goes on black, stays opaque all day. But it says it's infused with a glacial extract for a cool soothing feeling. I don't know why you need that, but... Thought it was cool and I like that it says that it stays on and opaque all day. The last thing that I got from Ulta is this Honest Beauty Honestly Bright Eyes Tinted Eye Cream. It says that it color corrects and hydrates and it has two types of hyaluronic acid. This is what the box looks like and I picked this up because I've been using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer on days. Like when I go to the gym, I don't want to hear, I look tired, I look like I haven't slept, I look like I just woke up. So I always put concealer under my eyes and a little bit on my lid just to help with the darkness. And I'll set it with a light powder. It's a little brightening, but it's not a lot of coverage. And it's not like a peach corrector shade. It's just a concealer. So I wanted to try this just to see because it says it's a moisturizer and it's tinted. I did use this today as well. This is what it looks like. I'll go ahead and put a little bit on my hand, but it comes in like this little lip gloss tube looking thing. And then this is what it looks like on the back of my hand. So when I rub that in, as you can see, it's a little orange, just a tad. I personally do not feel like this is light enough to just put under my eyes by itself because I feel like it would make my under eyes look darker. I put this on today. I do feel like it helped with some of the discoloration as far as the darkness, but I just feel like it's a little too dark to wear by itself. But I like how this feels. It's really moisturizing. It doesn't feel like a concealer, doesn't feel like a corrector. So I'm gonna keep using this. Uh, but I don't think I would use it just by itself. But next, we're going to move on to an order that I placed with Milk Makeup. They had their friends and family 30% off. I was a little disappointed because they're like, oh, friends and family 30% off. But then they pick and choose what they want to let you buy. So I was going to get the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. They sent me a sample of it, but I did not get the full size because it was not 30% off. I don't need that primer that bad. I have other gripping primers that I like. So I was not going to pay full price for it. And I'm not paying 20% off at Sephora for it either. I will use my sample and stick with my Cover FX or all my other ones that I found. I did pick up their Hydro Grip and Set Refresh Spray. I've been eyeballing this since it came out. This is what it looks like. I love that it has this duo biphase, whatever you call this, where it's like an oil at the top. It actually says by phase setting spray grips makeup and doubles as a refreshing face mist formulated with hydro grip heroes hemp derived cannabis seed extract and blue agave extract so I use this to set my face today I did not use it before and I do feel like it helped to make my face kind of helped mesh the powder in although I didn't use a lot of powder but being that my face already kind of felt like it wasn't set, I probably didn't need to use this. I just wanted to, if I'm honest. But I love the mister on this. Y'all know how I talk about misters that feel like they're attacking my face. <laughs> this one is fine, but a lot of it comes out. I like the way it smells. And I think it just, it leaves a nice little glow, if you will. But it's not like super dewy. So 
I will definitely be using this a lot for my matte foundations or the ones that say they're like a natural matte or a satin because all of those dry down a lot on me. I also picked up and I was super excited about this. This is the Melt Cosmetics Shape Shifter Stack. I had to say that slow because I messed that up too many times. This is what the packaging looks like. I love the Melt Cosmetics Stacks. I love their eyeshadows too. But I don't know what happened when this came out. I don't remember them talking about it that much. This was on sale, so I did get it. Did not pay full price for it. Y'all know we try not to do that on this channel. This has two, three, four shades, and they are all somewhat either duochrome or multi-chrome or just super metallic. So the first one, this is Shape Shift. So this is what this one looks like. You can already see the multi-chrome in there. It's like a greenish kind of red. I'll go ahead and swatch for you guys real quick. So that's what that looks like there. Yeah, so it's green, but it has that kind of slight red around the edges. The next one is Chameleon, which is a green. It has a blue reflect in it, but I don't feel like this one shows as much from the swatches that I saw. I didn't swatch these myself. This one feels a little more gritty and a little more opaque than the first one. So you can definitely see that there. You can see a little bit of the shift. It's a green to a blue. The other one almost kind of feels like a topper. It was a lot softer. Then we have Mimic. Ooh, this one is like a blue to purple. So there you see the blue and then it goes to purple. Love shades like this. I hope y'all can see this as well as, I just want you to get all of it. I'm gonna swatch that one. That is a gorgeous color. So that's it up there. You can see the shifts depending on which way you look at it. And then the last one is called Delirium. I don't think this one had as much of a shift as the others, but it's still a really pretty color. These feel really soft. They're not like I don't feel like they have a lot of body to them, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I just feel like you would really have to build them up. That's it up there. So it's almost like a peachy gold. Uh, I don't know how to describe that, but yeah, that's the shades there. And I think it's pretty. I don't think if I would have got this and I would have paid full price for it, I ain't gonna lie, probably would have brought it back. But since we didn't, we can keep it and I'm going to play with it and see. I don't know if it'll be better on top of some other shades or if they look different when you put them on the eye because sometimes that does happen. So you guys will see that in a video. The next thing I picked up from Sephora is this Lancome full size Monsieur Big Mascara. This was $25, but I didn't pay $25. I did get it on sale. And I know that I like this mascara. I tried the small size already, but I like that this one came with a lash curler as well. And I have no idea if this is a good lash curler or not, but your girl never used to have to worry about that. And now I do because my lash serum is working and my outer lashes don't curl as much as the others. And then I have some in the middle that are getting longer that don't curl. So just to make all that look better and full size of the mascara, which you have seen me use before. So you can get a set and get something extra for the full price of the mascara. Why not? Okay, we got three more things from Sephora. The first thing is this Artist Couture Diamond Luxe Luminizer. This is his pressed highlighter in the shade Hot Damn. I do have this on my cheeks right now. I could not wait to use this. I love the shade of this. It is a gold, but it's a champagne gold. It's not like a straight like yellow gold. I don't like those. But this one, I put this one on first. It is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Reflective and just beautiful. When I put it on, I did not build it up that much. So when you kind of sheer it out, it still has that reflectiveness to it, but it's not going to look like a streak of ice on your face. However, 
I wanted to amp it up a little bit. I just missed this. I'm sorry. Backwards, the Milk Makeup order also ordered a highlighter. I ordered their Flex on the Glow Flex Highlighter in the shade Iced. So that is also what you see on my face right now. So that's what this one looks like. So as you can see, this one's a little more icy, a little more gold, and it's, well, I guess like a cooler tone gold. It's definitely more icy. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. And I'll swatch it next to the other so you can see what I mean. This right here is the Artist Couture. So as you see, gold, versus this up here is the Milk Makeup. So it's a little more silvery than it is gold. So I put both of those on my cheeks today because I was being extra and I wanted to try them both. Love them both. I decided to pick up, I've never tried this brand before. This is the Surratt Beauty. This is their Prismatic Eyes Eyeshadow Duo. This is, it says Mesmerize on it. I picked up the shade, let's see if it says, this is what the box looks like. It comes with a cream and then a powder eyeshadow that you put on top. I guess this is the shade Mesmerize. I don't even know. I'll have everything listed below, but this is the box that it comes in. Super cute. You can see it kind of has like different colors. I don't know if you guys can see that. This I think was regular $40, but I got it or $38 and I got it for $18, something like that. But so on the inside, it has this dark green, like a base cream shadow. And then on top of it, you twist it and then that goes on top of it. So let's just see. Yeah, so that definitely feels like a topper shade. But so this here is the cream and then this here is the topper. And I will swatch them by themselves and then together. All right, so this is the cream shade by itself. Probably pick the worst way to swatch this. Cream shade by itself. This is the topper shade by itself. And then this is them mixed. So you're basically getting three products in one. But y'all know me and my olive green gold. I've done a couple, two looks like that. Maybe three. Try not to bore y'all with the same thing, but they had different shades. And then I just kind of felt like this was the one I would get the most use out of. There was a black and silver, there was a gold one, and there was a blue one, I think. So I don't know if they still have these because they sold out and then they came back and then I don't know where they are right now, but this is the only one that I picked up. Last thing I got was my birthday gift and I picked this Laneige gift set. The other thing they had was a NARS set that had like the Laguna bronzer, and something else that wouldn't have worked for my skin tone. So I kind of didn't have a choice. But y'all know I love my lip balms. Both of these, there's the water sleeping mask, this small size, then the lip sleeping mask, and then this water bank moisture cream, which I have not used before. The other ones I have. So, I mean, it's a cute little set or whatever, but I just wish they would have gave another makeup option for something that would have been more universal as opposed to something only light to medium skin tones could wear the rest of this stuff is the hodgepodge so i was on hsn actually i was on instagram and i followed this instagram account called save with sydney i think i'll have it listed on the screen and so she just posts random stuff about stuff that's on sale sometimes it's makeup sometimes it's home goods whatever i've always wanted to try the kevin O'Quest. Sensual, sensual skin enhancer I say that wrong every time and she posted it that it was on sale like shipped for $22 so grabbed it didn't even think twice about it this is a makeup lover's favorite it is a concealer I wanted it for under my eyes I am wearing it today I got shade SX11 this is like the perfect concealer shade for me when I tell y'all I barely dipped my brush in this, like, this is the first time I used it. Barely dipped. And I did under eyes, I did forehead, did nose, did chin, all my normal stuff. So I can see why they say this a little bit goes a long way. And I'm going to try really hard to make sure this stays closed so I don't dry it out. It also came with a brush. 
I use the brush. I don't really care for the brush. The brush feels more like an eyeshadow brush. There is a shader side that is really small and flat. So I don't know. You could use that to carve out your eyebrows, but I wouldn't use it to put it on under my eyes. And then this is dirty, but cause I used it. This is the more fluffy side. So I used that initially to put it on under my eyes and put it on my nose. And then I ended up just using my beauty blender because I did not like how it was spreading it. It just didn't feel, it, kind, it felt kind of streaky. The next thing I picked up, I actually got on Amazon. Now y'all know I've been collecting my Tom Ford eyeshadow quads and that sparked interest in Charlotte Tilbury. And I wasn't sure which quad I wanted to go with. And since all of the Tom Ford ones are kind of color specific, I was like, let me see what options there are for Charlotte. Well, there is this Icon palette. I think I paid 20 bucks for this, maybe 30. This is what I have on my eyes right now. Every single shadow in here is either a satin or a foil or a like a topper. But these blend so well and they are so pigmented. I have this in my crease. Yeah. This one in my crease, then this to darken it up. I put a little bit of the black and then just because I wanted to see, I put a little bit of the green just right here. And then on my lid, I put this gold and I added a little bit of this super shimmery one up here in the inner corner. I just wanted to use as many colors as I could, but y'all, they all feel like if you've used Natasha Denona's cream to powder formula, that is what these feel like. And these colors, I'll swatch a little bit for you. Like they really just feel like satins, but they blend so well together and they are so pigmented. Like even this gold, look at that. And I didn't even put this one on. This pinkish one here. Like they're all so pretty. I need to back up. Why are you so close, Barbie? You're too excited. So all these shades, I just, I'm glad I decided to go with that palette versus going, nope, you can't see that. Oh, I hate doing it this way because y'all see everything behind me. But these are the shades here that I just swatched. Colors are gorgeous. All right, I'm trying to speed through these because I don't want to be here all night, but... We know I get excited when I talk about eyeshadows and everything I have left is eyeshadows. So I hope you don't skip through this. I'll try to go fast. I saw this eyeshadow palette in a BoxyCharm review and I fell in love with it. This is the Violet Voss I Olive You Forever. Y'all, I know I could probably never buy another green olive khaki eyeshadow again and I would still never run out and I'm still probably gonna buy more. I love the Violet Voss formula and when I saw this palette I was like baby that is me in an eyeshadow palette. Look at these colors. Absolutely insane. Their, their eyeshadows are so pigmented. I just gotta swatch. I'm so, so this is Charmed. And then this is Olive Glow. Then we have Olive U. It's a little flaky, but a beautiful, almost kind of silvery green. And then Olive Me, which is more like your normal green. And then this pinky one is called Wink. Oh, that has a lot of payoff. It's a little chalky, but I mean, that's what the color is. So that's just some of the shades right there, but I couldn't help it. As soon as I saw that palette, I went on the hunt for it and I bought it. The next eyeshadows that I have are from the brand Menagerie Cosmetics. Y'all, this was my birthday present. It literally came in, I think the Friday before my birthday. I ordered the Fight Club palette, which I showed y'all on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, it's at Miss Barbell Barbie, so go look because sometimes I do 
I post stuff in my stories. I don't really do like lives and all that stuff yet. Your girl is just not there. We sticking with this for right now. And then I also picked up the Feral palette. Another green, I know. And then I picked up some singles. So let me just show you these real quick. I am not gonna swatch. I will do dedicated videos for these. This is the Feral. These, these are so heavy. I just about died because when I dropped my box, these palettes were in there and I thought I broke them. Y'all, look at these shades. Yes, I got it because it was more green, but also look at that purple. Look at that yellow. I'm not going to swatch. I don't want to keep us here all night, but this is absolutely beautiful. This Fight Club palette, though, I pre-ordered the day it was available and it sold out the day that it came out. This is so gorgeous. It has the little fruit bat on it, which I don't even think bats are cute, but I think that is cute. Look at this. This low key kind of reminds me of a mix between like some of my Pat McGrath shades and then my Melt Cosmetics She's in Parties. And that um, Huda Beauty palette that I just got, the Amethyst one. But it's like a mix of all of them. Y'all, I love these shades probably can't get I mean you can get a complete look out of these but like a wearable you know well that's a transition shade I just don't sh see a shade that's dark enough to deepen the outer V that I like but this is beautiful absolutely beautiful and I'm so glad I picked it up I can say I'm sure there are a lot of other beautiful products from the brand but this made my life I picked up three singles. These are supposed to be multi-chromes. The first one, this is the Magnetic Pressed Eyeshadow Single. So this will go in my Magnetic like Z Palette holder. This one is in the shade, don't tell me they didn't put the names on here. Really guys? Well that sucks. Hold on, let me look. Oh, this one almost broke. It is literally like about to fall out of the pan, but look how beautiful this shade is. Let me see if I can find the names. Hold on. Okay, this one is Mimic. And I'm trying to press it back in the pan because I dropped, it dropped. And I'm so glad this is not completely destroyed. But yeah, this is what the shade looks like. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. And then I picked up the shade Fluke. And this is what that one looks like. I know me and my greens. This one's more of like a sea foam. This one, god damn it. Ugh! I just stuck my nail in this. They don't have a lid on these that I keep thinking they do. So, ooh, I gotta find somewhere to put these and put them up ASAP before I destroy them. Okay, you see a little bit of duochrome in that one. It's more of like a yellow to a green. Not as much as I thought it was going to be, but it's still super metallic. So at least that's good. And then this last one is called Whale Song. I did swatch this one. I couldn't help it. It is a blue to purplish. This one also has more. The first one was a little more glittery. These definitely have more body. This has a blue to green shift. You can definitely see that one more. This brand I heard about on Instagram, they are named Makeup Maniacs Cosmetics and they have some of the most beautiful foiled multi-chrome shadows I've ever seen. I ordered a bundle that they had. I paid $78 but I got five shadows and then they also sent, I think this is a loose it looks like a loose eyeshadow and they have it just in this little baggie here but look how metallic that looks it's double packaged so it's not the easiest thing to get out but i would like to try to show you guys oh yeah that is an eyeshadow but it's like in loose powder form sorry the lights are reflecting on it let me see if i can swatch it without making too much of a mess because i want you guys to be able to see Ooh, that is like a rust yeah, it's not a multi-chrome, but that is a very pretty rust color. It does look like it has a bit of a shift to it on camera. 
But either way, it was a free gift. And so y'all know how I am about free stuff and discounted stuff. So wasn't mad at that. And it is a shade that I like. The other shades that I picked, they were out of one that I really wanted, which I think was called like Watermelon Twist or something like that. But the shades I picked up are, so this first one is called Penny For Your Thoughts. And it is this beautiful, oh, I hope the lights do this justice. So you see how it's like super red and then it kind of goes put it back here oh this stresses me out when i feel like y'all can't see it so red it goes to green i'm gonna swatch it because there's just no way these are so soft they almost feel wet so there for sure you can see that god that is gorgeous These colors, these lights are not doing it justice. I can't even tell you guys. There you see some of the orange. I just gotta figure out the right way to turn my hand. But yeah, you can see what's remaining on my finger. That is Penny For You Thoughts. Penny For Your Thoughts, not like Rihanna's. This next one is called Crash Gade, which is a green to blue. I feel like these always show up better. Oh! Y'all, my heart. Look at this. There. You see that? Oh, my God. Insane. This is the most beautiful. Ah, Barbara, close your mouth. The next one is called Flicker. The only thing I don't like, this is so messy. And I don't know if it's because I spilled the other shadow. This one is like a purple pink like a pink that goes kind of to a green i don't know if you guys can see that orange i don't know how they do this i really don't know look at that do you see that like what is this how so y'all saw when Natasha Denona came out with her Trio Chrome palette and she was trying to say those three shades were mm -mm boo. This is a multi-chrome. This is what it's supposed to look like. Oh, I cannot wait to put that on my eyes. The next one is called Green Sky. This one's a green to blue. Oh, these feel like a liquid. Like, look how much that's pressed in. Oh, it's just like be still my heart. And that is an absolute shame that I get this excited for eyeshadow. But yes, this is it. Look at that. Last but not least, the last one is called Vinyl Ocean. So this goes blue to purple. So you see purple there. And then you see the blue. I don't think, yeah, it is. <laughs> I started to say I don't think it's as impressive, but yes, it is. Yes, it is. That is what a multi-chrome is supposed to look like. That is how it's done. And if these bigger brands can't make them look like that, I think they need to stop because I'm not buying from them. I'm going to get it from right here. That is it for this video. I feel like it was long. I feel like I've been talking a lot. But I always get excited when I talk about eyeshadow and new makeup. And especially if I get it on sale. So you figured this was coming. If you're still here, I appreciate you watching the whole video. Comment below. Tell me what your favorite things were. Tell me what else you want to see. Tell me what you want to see first. That's what I really want to know. Thank you for sticking with me till the end of the video. Again, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. Hit that subscribe button, stick around for a little while, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.